Okay, so um, a, someone asked me about it's talk. A, a course in miracles teacher said was talking about the body being laid aside in the course in miracles, and um, and that the teacher was trying to say that that means physical death of the body, uh, and the uh, student wanted to tell the teacher that they were wrong. Um, is the, is this right? Well, there's a few th questions there I'd like to talk on. Um, doesn't necessarily mean that at enlightenment or awakening, um, at enlightenment or awakening, the um, uh, the body actually dies a physical death. Um, <clears throat> but yes, the uh, the ego does die at uh, awakening, uh, so that there is that death. The body is laid aside. Well, I would say the body is laid aside. I mean, everything is laid aside when with the ego death because the ego holds on, identifies has attachments to the body and the thoughts and the feelings, everything that creates the illusion of separation. So that does die. So one is no longer <clears throat> uh, the body. The body is not what one is, and the thoughts are not what what is. Nothing is what one is. So um, that is the ego death. Uh, so, however, when the ego dies, it doesn't necessarily mean that <clears throat> the physical body. So you could say nothing may nothing well it seems like that it's very hard to describe it nothing may walk and talk um uh, uh but there is no ego there you know that the ego identity has died uh and whether the body um has a physical death or not that's up to divinity um okay so what about telling the te if you hear a teacher say an error should you tell the teacher they're wrong uh, that's uh, that's a great question. Actually, it's an important question and a very complicated question. Okay, <clears throat> everything depends on context and level of consciousness. So the answer is actually very complicated. It depends on um, all of life is a karmic setup. All of life is teaching lessons for maximum opportunity for growth, to go up or down, to make an error or to pass the test. And at each different level of consciousness, and in each different scenarios, I mean, sometimes, uh, so you're not probably going to get the answer. It's not like a definitive answer. At a certain level of consciousness, uh, the answer may be to speak up. And at another level of consciousness, the answer may be to keep quiet and say nothing and resolve it and transcend it. So, uh, I mean, like, if you read Ramana, he says, like, there is no world. It's just an illusion. Forget it. Along those lines. Um, and there's nothing to intervene, and there's nobody that needs to intervene. But at certain levels, um, you know, uh, as you're uh, moving up the levels of consciousness and passing the lessons that are being orchestrated, uh, for a certain student at a certain level, it could be to keep quiet um, and just resolve it and let it go, because one is mastering a lesson um, that needs to be resolved through keeping quiet and dissolving everything that's happened. And at certain point, in certain scenarios, sometimes the lesson is to speak up. How, how do you know? Mm. Well, it's good to have spiritual mentors or just to pray or um, pray to the Holy Spirit uh, for guidance. And is it the right thing to speak up, or is it the right thing to not speak up and just to transcend it? Um, at lower levels of consciousness, often. Um, it could well be that the thing is to speak up because you're resolving some of the lower levels of the ego. So some of the things like being a coward or and not speaking up. So that could be the lesson that one is learning. One is not really learning um, transcending the world is not real, but one there could be a lesson there which needs to be resolved of not being able to speak up because of cowardice. And so that needs to be resolved before, if you like, the, um, the entryway to enlightenment can be... Um, uh, uh, can can be allowed. It's hard to use words. So, um, so for each student at each different level, different types of lessons and different types. So it's not there's not like a one a one answer fits every single scenario because it depends on your level of consciousness and what the lessons are, or what the belief systems are that you need to transcend to get to the next level. Um, so very, I mean, for a certain student, it might be to say nothing and dissolve it because nothing happened and one is nothing and nothing needs intervention. At a certain level though, uh, well, one is in the ego, it could be that one is just generally a coward and one is seeking enlightenment, but one hasn't even resolved the basic stuff like uh, ju um, judgmentalism, uh, needing to be right, 
um, feeling like a victim. So these may need just um, or not speaking up, uh, uh, you know, uh, when it is the right thing to do spiritually, because at that level of consciousness, that is the lesson. So is to speak up and say something that uh, the teacher is wrong. So, um, yeah, so that would be, so how, how do you resolve it? Well, the classical ways, uh, well, how would I do it? Well, I would, I would pray and meditate. If you've got access to kinesiology, use that until the guidance comes through. Yes, it is to speak up and say the teacher is wrong. I, I need to tell your teacher in front of all the students that you, what you're saying is an error. Or it could be just, um, it's not need, required, just uh, dissolve it, nothing happened. Um, so, um, yeah, that's the answer.